Alright, good day, hi, and welcome. Alright, so I'm off to job number two out of three. And I'm going to talk to you about something totally unrelated to normal things I talk about. That I normally talk about otherwise. And that is music stuff. I know some of you guys don't care about it or whatever, but you know, obviously you guys know I'm a musician. I'm not saying I'm a good musician, but I'm a musician nonetheless. Right? And um, I was listening to Frederico from Frozen Crown. I've never met the guy, never talked to the guy. Love the band, they're awesome. They're an Italian speed. I, they, they don't they don't see themselves as a speed metal band, but like their drummer Nizo, he's like the guy's like the energizer buddy, like it just full, like just just machine gun and like through the whole songs. Two really cool songs. Their newest song, uh, Far Beyond, is uh, or not Far Beyond, uh, Fire in the Sky is just absolutely fantastic. It just, you know, full bore pedal to the metal. But I think my favorite song from them is Far Beyond. It's just the melodicness of the song, even though it's speed metal. And I, I made a, a comparison between blues and speed metal and uh, like neoclassical speed metal or just heavy metal and blues has a lot of feel to it we all know that right uh it's rhythmic right but it doesn't necessarily have a lot of melody yes there's melody but not a lot of melody now don't don't hate on me hear me out oh look at that trailer oh i'll get my trailer going pretty soon going to the eco center there. Um, but anyway when you listen to metal it's usually not very rhythmic but it's usually full of melody and far beyond is a perfect example of, of melody like the entire song is melody like, like every riff is melody and it's it's in speed metal form and it's so good it's so good nice truck big bad dodge but anyway, I was listening to, uh, now mind you, the video was a couple of years old, so it was right during the, the middle of the uh, the uh, global event, we'll call it. <laughs> I don't wanna, you know, I'm not monetized anymore, but uh, I don't want my channel to get another strike for nothing, you know what I mean? Um, the algorithms will strike your channel for just about any, like, you have no idea why, right? Um, but anyway, uh, long story short, he was talking about financing a band uh, and stuff like that. And Frozen Crown is one of those bands that they're not huge, huge, huge. But I do like listening to their, uh, like, they're kind of like, uh, here's a video of them just goofing around, talking about stuff and whatever. Uh, you know, as well as listening to the music. But they, they do come up with some pretty, uh, Federico, I guess he's kind of like the leader of the band. And he's married to the lead singer, Sheena. And... Uh, Fabiola is the other guitar player. She's fantastic. She looks like she's 12, but she's like 26. She, like, she literally looks like a kid, but she's a fantastic guitar player, both of them. And then there's Icky is the bass player, and Nizo, is, he, the guy was a model, an Italian model, and, uh, he, you know, turned, uh, you know, speed rock drummer, right? You know, like, it, it, speed metal drummer. Kind of cool. And everybody in the band has, like, the most amazing hair. Like, everybody says the same thing about this band. Like, they have, like, perfect hair, all of them. You know what I mean? Even the oldest guy, the, the bass player, they all have good hair. They all have really good hair, right? And uh, it's like, they're, like, just really good-looking people, right? And it's like, this is cool. But what I like about their music is that is how much management they have over it. So, like a lot of new bands nowadays, they're not, if they're... You know, uh, if they're basically on a label, they, they tend to become cookie cutter. But when they're not, and you, you know, like even the metal scene gets a bit cookie cutter too. Uh, but when you get into the nuance of it, it's like, oh no, these guys are like way different. Like they're, they're, their structure is way different and everything like that. And he was talking about like, you know, the right way, like the way they did it. And, you know, like saying, you know, like a lot of people focus on, they think they're going to get popular doing shows, right? For me, I, it's all about the live show for me. But, um, you know, it's like, um, ah, he's going fishing. He's going fishing. I haven't seen him out with the boat in a while. Uh, anyway, um, guy behind me. 
the, the thing is, is that uh, he was saying like, no, he says, get your product ready first. He goes like, uh, people don't like, they, they, you know, back in the day that, you know, uh, they used to scout, the, the record labels used to scout for talent. You know, they go to this bar, that bar, and they might get lucky and hear somebody they really like and discover somebody that way. Because they don't do that now. What they want is a finished product coming to them. So you've already got the finished song mastered and everything like that. And, you know, the album or whatever. And you got all that. And uh, then they'll take you on. Like, what they're looking for is that your music can stand on its own without them. And then they'll promote you. Which does kind of make sense for them. Because there's, you know, like there's two, literally two billion um, musicians on the planet. You know, uh, not saying they're all professional, they're all good or whatever. Don't take off the front of the car. Don't have the trailer. I'm going to park that nice truck. Big bad Dodge. So, like, you, you look at it and what he's saying, and it, it makes total sense. It's like, yeah, you know, spend your money on the studio. He goes, you don't have to go like him. He, he's, you know, he's, he has a bit of a nationalist kind of take on the music industry for, you know, he's Italian, so he loves Italians, right? If you ever meet Italians, nobody loves being Italian more than an Italian, right? So, and that's fine, whatever. Uh, Got to get some provisions. But... Um, that's a big truck. I love Dick Everett. Oh, that's not Dick Everett. I like that Dick Everett. Dick Everett's are fun. I'd like to just drive one around. Like, no, nothing behind it. Just to drive one around for fun. Uh, but anyway, he was saying, the uh, nice little trailer. It's like Paul's trailer, but newer. Um, anyway, he was saying, like, you know, get your product ready first. You know, invest in that. Then, you know, everything else, he says, you don't really have to do it with money. Like, how to, you know, run a band with no money. You know, like you, you really start, you had a really ground up kind of approach, but very wisely, uh, you know, like don't waste your money on all this promotion and stuff, build a good product. And then don't worry about getting a big audience, get a solid audience, right? Stuff like that. So I'll, I'll make a part two when I get back. I got to go get uh, my normal provisions. And uh, if you guys can guess in the comment what I'm about to go buy for my provisions, uh, see if you even have a clue of what I would be going to buy. We'll see you in the next video if you're right or not.